everyone and welcome back to the happy par channel today's date is 4 18 2020 and today we have for you guys today's daily news refresh now as always i give away a skin every single video and that does include the brand new deadpool x4 series so to enter like today's video subscribe with notifications on and comment down below with your epic games name as a little disclaimer you have to be added for over two days in order for me to gift you a skin However, if you guys do want to accept PayPal, you will get your skin instantaneously, as I will send you enough money to actually buy the skin. I keep forgetting to say that every single video, but a lot of you guys keep getting concerned that I'm not going to give you guys the skin because it says you have to wait two days. So those are the two options in case you guys win, but without further ado, let's just hop directly into today's Fortnite topics. Alright, so coming directly from Fortnite's Twitter, it looks like they just posted their promotional video last night for the brand new Icon Series emote, Crazy Boy. Now crazy enough, this is not just for the J-pop artist, this is also for a TikTok winner. So the TikTok Royal Contest winner apparently is also a part of this brand new emote. Because take a look at the background video they just posted this video. So that is the TikTok winner mixed with a J-pop artist's uh, permit emote, which is pretty dang weird. I honestly do not understand this, it's extremely confusing that there's a J-pop artist collaboration for the Icon series, but it's also a TikTok inspired emote, like what? This stuff just absolutely makes no sense to me and it's extremely confusing, but leave your opinions down below. Did you guys know that fact? On to our next Fortnite topic. Revolving around Deadpool, it looks like the Deadpool Battle Bus is now starting to lose its color, so it is slowly transforming back to its original color of blue. So a little easter egg right there, I honestly did not notice this until someone pointed it out, but pretty interesting stuff right there, which probably means the collaboration will be ending relatively soon, and making way for the next collaboration, Travis Scott. And now for the last and final part of the first part of this video, it looks like someone made a brand new concept for the Agency Henchman skins. So pretty much everybody wants this in the game right now, the ability to buy these agency henchmen. It would make for a lot of funny videos for content creators like Laserbeam, Musilk, and all kinds of content creators like that, so I do believe this would be an absolutely just awesome idea. We've seen this a few times with previous skins where they actually release like Stormtroopers and stuff like that, and people just completely troll, so why not bring out the agency henchmen for a viable skin? So pretty funny and awesome stuff right there. And speaking of the agency henchmen, it looks like Shadow will now be taking over the HC once it doesn't fat get destroyed. So coming directly from I believe Spud IC1, he posted two photos, one with the agency destroyed with the ghost images, but also another one with the shadow images. So it looks like not only will the agency be completely destroyed and leveled out, but it is also be taken over by shadow for some reason. So pretty interesting storyline so far. And unfortunately, now for our last and final part of this video, but this one's actually extremely massive. So, while I was sleeping at 4.28 AM, yes, that early, it looks like some brand new Travis Scott stuff has now been decrypted, and it's currently viewable within the game itself. So Hypex just said this, This audio and texture just got decrypted, thanks to Mackie M Official for noticing the ASE key. You can hear Travis Scott's highest in the room song, it is confirmed to be coming out. And of course we have for you guys that sound effect, now I do not know if it's copyrighted, so I will be playing a very small beat over this actual music right here, but in case you guys are in fact curious as far as what it looks like, I'll be showcasing for you guys in just a few short moments how to see it for yourself in the game extremely easy, but roll that clip. Alright, and again guys, unfortunately it was probably copyrighted as Travis Scott's music is completely 
absolutely just massive. So over on Twitter, I'll probably get a copyright claim if I did not put some beats over the official music track that is currently being teased. So sorry about that, but like I said, I'll showcase for you guys in just a few short moments how to see it for yourself. So to actually see this in the game, it's extremely, extremely easy. So go into any single game, private, creative, battle, it could be absolutely anything. So upon getting here, just have a look in the sky and bam, it is right there. Now, the longer guys actually look at this, the louder the music will actually get. So, you'll be hearing Travis Scott's music track called Highest in the Room, which, if you guys have no idea who Travis Scott is, he's a massive rap artist. Or hip-hop, I don't really know. I mean, he kind of makes rap, but he also kind of makes, like, hip-hop and something else. So, I'm not really sure what genre he actually is, but I'm assuming mostly rap. And if you guys still have no idea who he is... Think about Sicko Mode, he made that song with Drake, so yeah, he's a pretty well-known and famous artist, and he's also dating Kylie Jenner, so yeah, very, very well-known artist. So this collaboration is quite amazing and definitely pretty massive. Now coming directly from Fortory, he also said this, Me and Axe Tiger Hyper got the Astro World to get closer to the island. In that case, we could get a better look at it. In a normal game for everyone, the Astro World is still high, high in the sky. That's actually pretty funny, that's actually some lyrics from his song. But yeah, here you guys go, here's an extremely early and very close up view of the brand new Astro World coming very soon. Alright, so pretty awesome stuff right there. Definitely did not expect it to be this close up, but in case you guys were curious, the reason it looks so out of quality or like in very low quality is because it is currently not completely finished and we're not supposed to be able to see it this close up. So obviously Epic Games did not put full HD quality or like uh, graphics into the actual Astral just yet until it gets closer. So just so you guys know that. Now you guys remember yesterday we got this brand new poster and it finally makes sense. So. Astroworld is actually being teased to be coming closer and closer every single day. And this point of interest, as far as where the actual concert will be taking place, is right here in the back of the video over at Sweaty Sands. So one massive floating stage that will probably look like Astroworld is going to be actually right here. And in case you guys were curious as far as why I keep saying Astroworld, well that's because this is actually what it is. Travis Scott's album was called Astro World, and it looks like this. So we'll be seeing a massive floating stage at the water in just a few short days, and yeah, it's gonna be a massive Astro World stage playing Travis Scott's latest music, which is absolutely just crazy. I never thought Epic Games would collab with Travis Scott considering he's like a rap artist and not the most child friendly, so it's a little on the edge right here, but I'm assuming they'll probably block out any swear words and not play certain bad songs that say certain weird or profanity things. But it's finally all starting to make sense. Now I know the major question is going to be, well, when is this actually going to be happening in the game? Well, if we base this off all the updates we know they're upcoming, as well as Travis Scott's birthday is also upcoming on April 30th, I definitely speculate that next week when the content update gets released, which is, I believe, 12.41, uh, when that gets released, we'll probably be seeing some more encrypted files for the actual Travis Scott stage. And then possibly on 12.50, we'll actually be seeing the official update because that's very close to Travis Scott's birthday. So give or take about a week or two. And if we were actually completely lucky, it could be very well next week after the update goes live. So pretty awesome stuff to look forward to. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about all the stuff down below and if you guys are hyped for this collaboration. Now, as far as this video goes, unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys as of right now. But do not worry, a lot of more stuff is now upcoming. We have an update next week and very, very much more. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are in fact subscribed with notifications on and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Stay happy and have a great day.